It's been a year of many challenges throughout the world. And they keep piling up political hostilities and civil strife and the virus and economic struggles. It's been a challenging year to say the least. But you know what? We are still here. We are still in the game. We have not been defeated. Stand up straight and march forward. And give someone else some encouragement. Let them see you standing strong. Set an example. What would you do if, if, if failure was not on the table? Do you realize that 87% of people allow the fear of failure to outweigh their desire to succeed? It doesn't matter how many times you fail. It doesn't matter how many times people tell you that you can't do it. It doesn't matter if you don't have a dime in the bank. In this room, I promise you, if some of you will just begin to take ownership of your life, and some of you probably are already thriving and doing phenomenal and making good choices, I want to say keep going, don't give up, keep pursuing it, because I promise you, every single one of you were meant to leave your fingerprints on history. It's possible I'm going to get through this. It's possible I'm not going to allow this to get the best of me. I don't know what you're up against. I don't know what you are facing, but here's what I do know. You've got something special. You've got greatness in you. If you want to be successful, you must be willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. Complain, point at your circumstances, give up your power, blame the government, in the economy. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. It's hard to make a radical change in your behavior. It's hard to take ownership. We, to a great extent, behave, think, react because of some previous experience that we've had. One of the things that we know about life is that it is always changing. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Sometimes things go real well, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes you're happy, and sometimes you're sad. Now that's that thing called life. The real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. Right now, I want you to think about your goals and dreams as you begin to raise them a little higher. And I want you to say with me, it's possible. It's possible. It's possible that you can live your dream.